Consider the equation modulus of x minus 5 whole square plus 5 times modulus of x minus 5 minus 24 is equal to 0. All of these questions there are modulus is involved, modulus of x minus 5 is involved, root of x plus 3 is involved, root x minus 7 is involved. These are all quadratics in that expression. Forget the expression. Call modulus of x minus 5 to be y. So this becomes y square plus 5y minus 24 is equal to 0 or y plus 8 into y minus 3 is equal to 0. y is minus 8 or plus 3. That means modulus of x minus 5 is minus 8 or plus 3. So far so good. Just plug in a quadratic and get it. Now let's think about it. Modulus of a number equal to minus 8. How is that going to happen? No doubt. So modulus of x minus 5 can never be minus 8. Modulus of x minus 5 is 3. That means x minus 5 could be 3 or x minus 5 could be minus 3 or x could be 8 or x could be 2. So the sum of all roots of the above equation, not sum of all roots, the sum of all roots that is 10. Forget the typo. I'm sorry about the typo. The sum of all the roots of the above equations is, is add all the roots. This is 8, that is 2. 8 plus 2, 10. A very routine question. Gosh.